Hello and welcome to another episode of Lisp Game Engine Devlog. Uh, so my hobby is implementing the uh, video game engine, the generic 2D uh, game engine uh, using the Common Lisp programming language, which is actually the, well, second uh, high-level programming language in the world. Uh, so yeah, uh, today is my devlog for the week of 22nd January of 2024. And yeah, what have I done this week? So right now, the thing is that my uh, game engine, my future game engine, is actually the assortment of like libraries with open source code, of course. I'm putting everything on GitLab. So uh, yeah, I'm uh, working on those libraries and uh, well, what have I done uh, this week? So uh, first of all, like the cornerstone of that uh, game engine of mine is the ECS library. ECS stands for Entity Component System and it's basically how the game stores its data within its process. Uh, so yeah, I'm. Uh, the thing is I don't know how my future game engine engine would look like and, and I'm just figuring out the form and shape of it. So yeah, in this um, library, in this uh, library called CL Fast ECS, because it is like optimized for speed, um, so this week I've implemented this little function delete system. It's actually very important because uh, before that I haven't had the ability to delete the systems uh, that were defined previously. Uh, and the system in ECS is basically where the code is stored, uh, the code that processes the game data. So yeah, I haven't had this ability of before that, and right now I do have that ability. And this is very important for another library I'm uh, working on uh, right now as well, which is the behavior tree library for Common Lisp. So I think I'm going to be releasing that next week. It is almost ready. I just have to finish the tests and that would be it. So yeah, it was important for that another library because when you redefine the behavior trees you have, uh, I mean, you would need the ability to like delete the old versions of the systems that were processing this tree and like define the new ones. So yeah, this is the thing. So the new version of this uh, library containing this uh, new function is in my uh, personal quick list repository, which is called Lucky Lambda. I will put links below uh, on under this video. So yeah, I have this already in this distribution index. You could add this into your uh, common list implementation just executing this code and you would have this latest version of this library, CLFast ECS. So yeah, that was the first change. So I also worked a little bit on that behavior tree library. And and yeah, hopefully this would be uh, like released next week. And another big, thi big thing I was working on is uh, like working under the macOS. So right now I have uh, like the games made using all of that technology. Uh, they run on Linux, they run on Windows, and the macOS was missing. But actually nothing was stopping me from porting uh, that code to macOS. So yeah, I was working on that. Um, so the latest game uh, I've made for the, uh, like using all of that stuff is called Mana Break. So let me open the link. Um, yes, I think I have, uh, so wait a sec. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, so yeah, this is the game. I'll also put the link to that below under the video. So uh, the thing is that, uh, yeah, it was uh, done for Linux and Windows, but the macOS build was missing. So I was working on that. I was working on fixing the problems that stopped it uh, from running on the macOS. And I actually got that. So as you can see, I have this macOS. It is uh, Monterey, uh, if I recall correctly. So yeah, uh, you can actually go to the sources of that game. You can call, yeah, you can switch to the proper directory. You can start SBCL, which is common Lisp implementation. And you could just quick load, oh, let me do that, quick load mana break. Um, and just wait until it loads and then just start it. Just call the uh, entry point, which is main. You can run that. And as you can see, 
it works. It just totally works. You can like click on the settlers here. You can control them. You can make them collect wood, etc. So yeah, that works. This is perfect. But the problem, uh, I mean, you can even start it under Emacs, which is like the primary IDE, the primary like editor I'm using to develop that game. So you can actually do like you can start the sly, which is the uh, add-on to run common lisp code you can quick load i mean you can basically do the same thing uh here so you can lo load mana break and then you could run yeah let's wait you, you could run mana break uh mana break yeah uh, you can run main and you can even yeah you can see it works as well and you can even do the changes like online so you can like go to the code so let me just uh a little bit so let's see let's go to i don't know characters and uh, let's screw a little bit with the um, with the game or let's go uh, rather to sprite yeah let's go to sprite and yeah let's say we want we don't want to draw the sprites of the characters so we can command this uh function call which is actually does this drawing we can recompile this hitting ctrl c ctrl c and as you can see all of the characters are gone yay poof so you can put that back to fix it and just hit this combination again and here you go the characters are all back so you can basically develop your game without stopping it you can just do it online this is one of the uh, like perfect strong um like features of common list programming language i love it so much so yeah i mean it works like that you can run it manually but the problem is like distributing so i actually have to build it into the like binary into dmg or whatever uh, what they use on mac os so that i can distribute it so i can give it to some other person uh, like using mac os and they don't have to do all of that they don't have to load sbcl and type that code in they can just double click and have this game running so i have been struggling with that because yeah developing like distributing on mac os is a big deal i mean they have this bunch of different like technologies like uh, bundles and dmg like file systems etc and p lists and all of that other crap so yeah i, uh, I was kind of busy with that uh, most of the week and I actually had this crazy idea so before that i have this like uh script this shell script called package data sage which was building that for uh, all of the systems so it was building for linux uh, so it, would, it was doing just a few comments here and it was building for windows another thing and it was basically just calling this do build function which just calls sbcl and calls this build uh, script build that lisp but the thing is uh i started like implementing the same thing with mac os but then i thought why why i'm using shell scripts i mean they're kind of terrible I I mean, you can see the syntax is ugh, like, nope. So I thought, why not use another tool? And I thought, why not use CMake? I mean, CMake, like basically used for developing, like, and distributing stuff for C and C++ languages, but nothing actually stops me from like building my game, uh, like written in Common Lisp with CMake and then distributing it with that because it supports all of the distribution formats. It supports uh, NSYS scripts, basically installers for Windows. It supports all of the macOS insanity, like bundles and whatnot. And it supports a lot of other distribution formats. So I thought, why not? And right now I'm having the CMake lists.txt, so I'm writing that. It is the total mess. So yeah, I mean, I was busy with that. Uh, like the Friday, uh, the most of the Friday. So yeah, that is the thing I'm working on. So hopefully next week I would release the behavior trees library for common lisp. And then I also would have the, um, the build for Mac OS and you would be able to enjoy, uh, at least this game, uh, built for Mac OS. Um, so yeah, that's basically it. That was my devlog for this week. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you want more, uh, subscribe to my channel, subscribe to YouTube, subscribe to Twitch channel, where I stream uh, on uh, Saturdays uh, this very uh, devlog. Um, 
so yeah uh, thank you very much for watching again um bye